So, you can't do the magic circle, or you don't like to do the magic circle, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. It is the chain method, but uh, some people can't get the hole to shut completely with the chain method. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we go ahead and we start with a slip knot on our hook. Now this is what we would do if you did not want to use the magic circle, say you were making, making a hat or something, and you wanted to use the chain method instead, but you have trouble getting the circle to close all the way. So what you would do is go ahead and make your chain, whatever the pattern calls for. I'm just going to do four because that's generally what I do when I'm doing a hat. And then you want to slip stitch back into your first chain to form a ring. Throw your tail over. I put my middle finger in between the hook and the chain. You don't have to do that, but it just keeps that hole open for me. Now we slip stitch. Now... Here's what's going to help you keep the hole, um, close it up. So we're going to chain one real quick. Now, depending on what your pattern calls for, um, this is, you would do it the same way, but I'm just going to use double crochets. So you want to hide your tail along as you go. So I'm just going to work some double crochets through the center of the ring. Your pattern, whatever you're using or whatever design you're using might be something different than double crochets but it, it it works for the same method it works the same no matter regardless of what stitch you use go ahead and make sure you crochet that tail along with you so as you can see i'm just going to work some doubles through the center of the ring and i'm taking that tail with me it's coming right along with me all right all the way around it's coming i'm not going to miss one bit of that tail I'm crocheting it it's tagging along because that's what's going to close our circle up now if you don't crochet this tail with you all the way when you're doing the chain method like this uh, um, as in opposed to the uh, magic ring or the magic circle if you don't carry this tail with you it's not going to close up all the way all right so I don't know how many I did. We'll just say that that this is what it, the pattern called for. Remember, this is going to work regardless. So there's my tail. You can see I carried him. I carried along with me all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and end with a slip stitch in my first stitch here. This is how I would end in my round here. So I got a hole. See that hole? Now this is going to close it up all the way. Pull that tail. Give it a nice tug. Look at that. Like it never even happened. And to be honest with you, from my own personal experience with the magic ring, yes, I can do the magic ring and or magic circle, whatever you call it. I prefer not to because this method holds the tail in place and it closes up tight, just as tight as the magic circle. But in my opinion, um, it won't come done as easily as a magic circle. From, it, you know, it's this experiences that I've had throughout my time that I've been crocheting for a long time. I do not use the magic circle because for me, this method won't come undone. The magic circle, like I said, this is just for me, can sometimes come undone. Maybe I do it wrong. I don't know. I just prefer this method. It, it, it just closes it up just like the magic circle. Look at that. No hoe at all. All right. So just another option you can do in opposed to the magic circle. Works the same. It looks the same. To me, it holds better. But that's just in my personal opinion. But I hope that helped. Bye, guys.